Hi guys. It is 619, 36 degrees out. Um, and we are on our way to the nursing home. You can see the weather's kind of yucky. We did get hit with the storm. What you see may look like snow, but it's layers of ice, snow, ice, snow. I, it's very heavy, very hard to clear. This is the first time I've been out other than walking between the RV and the house. But, um, oh yeah, I see everything's ice. We're down to the ice layer on here, huh, Lo? Yeah. Yeah, Pete's been out, but I haven't, so. And as it warms up, it'll melt and it turns ice again. Yeah. yeah. It's delightful. Anyway, what it, you said spring unsprung or something? What? That somebody did. Spring done come on sprung or something. Okay, anyway, maybe it was on Facebook. Probably. So, um, yeah, Friday night I shared with you what was going on with my mom. Um, today my sister felt, you know, the need to see her. My sister's about an hour away from the nursing home. And so uh, Gwen went up there earlier today. And the nurse and Gwen talked, of course, and then the nurse called me after Gwen left and said, this isn't the call, but I'm just calling to pre prepare you that she is declining very, very quickly. Okay. That she has, she's declining very, very quickly, and this is the call to tell you to prepare for the call. So, um, Gwen and I discussed it. Gwen turned around, went back up. I let Casey know because Casey hasn't been able to get to see her lately. And uh, so, Gwen turned around. She was home, but she turned around, went back up. I finished out the day, got a shower, you know, got ready to go. And um, now I'm on my way, and Casey's on her. Well, Casey's going to give the kids dinner, and then she's going to go. So, that's what's going on. Um, what the nurse said specifically for any of you who are familiar, who've worked for hospice or are medical personnel or whatever, um, she hasn't eaten or drunk anything in two days. Um, but, and she's starting to gurgle a little bit. Okay, I worked as a nurse's aide all the way through college for a couple years after college. And I worked for a lot of years, well, a lot more than I was an aide, for, as an activity director, which isn't as direct. But I know gurgling's not good. So she said, you know, sometimes they do this and everybody comes and says goodbye and then they rally. The nurse told me, but she said, I don't know. So if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. I plan on going there every night after work. And of course, we're not that busy yet, so if um, if I feel I should just stay with her, then I will during the day too. Pete has appointments on Friday, but anyway, so that's what's going on. So I'll turn you around a bit. I didn't take the time to put makeup on, I just stuck earrings on. But I didn't take the time to put makeup on. And it is still really warm. It says 30. Well, now it says 32. But, um, too hot. I, pro I probably could have just come in the sweater. But I love this jacket. I think it looks great with the sweater. The sweater's got a little bit of this color in it. So I think it looks great. So, of course, I like the jacket anyway. Big pockets. and It's really nice. Very nice. Thank you again. You know who you are. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on. Um, they were gonna when they talked to me. This was about two o'clock, I think. They were gonna call hospice in to check her and the hospice nurse or whatever. So. Chili, he's it's okay. He's okay. You want me to take his leash out? Okay. So. We didn't pick, put makeup on either. We don't know how long we're going to be gone. Or... 
whatever. So I took care of the birds already for the night. Oh, he has to wait till I'm done. So anyway, I was going to drive the Pedro, so I figured I might as well vlog. And I might, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do on the way there to keep my nerves in check. My nerves aren't that bad, really, but play some games. I'm more, yeah, that's probably what I'll do is just play some games. Watch some House Hunters on YouTube. Yeah. I just want my mom to go peacefully. One thing, and I'm going to say this because it's on my heart, she has denied Christ her entire life. She has claimed she has no need for a savior. She has said she has her own God who only wants her to be happy. And it really doesn't matter what she did, to, you know. So she, that is weighing extremely heavily on my heart. And I know people say, well, maybe since she's been there, somebody talked to her, you know. I know people say that thinking it might make me feel better. Maybe they have, but I don't know about it. So I really want to see her on the other side, and I hope I do. So there's I, or I, 27, 127. All clear. The whole state was just about shut down by this storm over the weekend. Anyway, I'm just talking now, so I am going to go and um, play some games or something. Brought my new computer with me, so I can mess around with that if I want to. My hair is still wet. It's going to dry kind of funky. That's the way it's going to be. Actually, I kind of like it like this. Who knew? All right, guys. I will see you later. I will update at some point later and then hopefully get a chance to edit and upload yet tonight. So, see ya. Bye.